When I sat down to write The Richest Man in Town, I didn't have a clue if anybody would read it. I didn't know about my own writing abilities because I was never that good of a student, but I felt the story. And so when we self-published a thousand copies of the book, you ask, is anybody going to buy it? To our amazement, those copies were immediately sold. And so we ordered another thousand copies and boom, they were gone too. And so we upped the order to 5,000 a time and it was hard to keep up with. And about that time, a national publishing group came in and said, we want to take Marty to the world. And we're happy for it. But the amazing thing to me is that I didn't write this story to suit a particular audience or a particular age. I felt most people could identify with the story. And as time has proven, it has. One of the great moments for me was a few years ago when I received a phone call from a man who owned a business, employed 400 people. He told me his daughter a week before that had brought home a copy of The Richest Man in Town. His daughter was a fourth grader. And she said, Dad, you need to read this book. And she put it by his nightstand. And every day after school, she'd come home and see he hadn't picked it up. So she pushed it closer and closer to the bed. And finally, one night, he read it. The next day, he called me. And he ordered 400 copies of the book, one for each of his employees. And that is what has surprised me. And that's the beauty of it. That people of all ages and families can read this book and talk about the importance of the qualities of kindness, caring, compassion, and how those things make a difference in the world. Those things are important. And that is what's found in this book. And I'm proud to share Marty's story with the world.